Hey guys, very good evening to all of you. Welcome to the video number 352. My name is Ajay and in this video we are going to talk about the offset function. Now I have just uploaded a video on the offset function on your request and I have talked about that what are the basics of the offset function. So if you haven't watched the video number 351, please go ahead and watch that video first, right? If you don't have any idea about the offset function. Otherwise, you can continue with this video. Now, in this video, uh, because that was the part one, we talked about the offset function, uh, how it works, what are the basics of the offset function. Now, in this video, we're going to see its practical use, right? So, offset function, we use it a lot in making the dashboard, and it is a very important function. If you want to be, you know, if you call yourself as an advanced Excel user and you do not know the offset function, I'm sorry to say, you really have to, you know, think. Um, again and uh, you really need to be an expert in this function because this function not only we use in the VBA but in the Excel also it is used in numerous ways right so welcome to the channel and if you're watching the channel for the first time I just want to tell you if you go to the playlist you will find here 350 amazing videos on Excel Excel VBA access and access VBA and this actually you know channel is dedicated to all those people the beginners who wants to learn all these four things four subjects and if you're even if you're a master in these subjects you know and you will find here a lot of tons of you know the advanced coding so i think uh, you will find here a different different uh, varieties of the case studies as well which i keep on getting the emails from you guys right now the thing is i have uh, you you can see all these these are all the 43 list and this is the excel offset function we have now know started recently this new playlist otherwise you can see here you have the excel vb introduction you have the dashboard making you have the excel vb connecting powerpoint with excel so a lot of videos on excel vb and at the same time the you know the playlist which says only the excel rs for example this means that this actually is not the vb this is simply the advanced excel stuff so this is i'm telling you all this because i receive a lot of comments on the channel and also emails People actually like to know they are looking forward to you know some particular type of a video maybe on the VLOOKUP or maybe on the F functions then how to go about that how to study that so if you're looking for the let's say function then you first go to the Excel F function this playlist you would find here let's say we have the seven videos so far so you if you're a big nerd then you first watch this part one and part two. And then you know you can further go ahead and watch all the rest of the videos anyways let me come back to the topic so in this today example uh, we are going to learn the offset uh, in the dashboard so basically we are going to see that you know how to use this uh, in the real sense so in order to do that I'm simply going to do one thing I'm gonna write here some team manager names in front of you so I'm gonna write here uh, let's say I'm gonna write here uh, some team uh, leader names let's say one is the Abdul then the another one is Ajay and then the one more let's say Matt and then there's one more let's say Venkat okay now what we want to do is I'm going to put some their associate names you know uh, below these names one by one so let's say Abdul has got XYZ and then ABC then DDD and then maybe some another name which is let's say Anil and uh, similarly Ajay has got uh, some names like you know A and then B and then C and then D and then E and then F and then G and so on and similarly Matt has also got some names right so I'm gonna write here let's say Y3 Y4 Y4 you know oh, maybe some, something else like maybe Y33 and Venkat has also got names let's say so I'm gonna give some naming you know, names I'm writing just to give you the understanding on this so now you can see that I have got this entire list okay now uh, what we want to do is we want to actually create here a summary report which which would you know if I select the here a team leader name a team manager name let's say J, then automatically my student name you know should show up here base basis my I'm going to select in the you know drop down first of all you need to create the drop down so I, i'll go to the data and I, i'm going to click on the data validation and in the data validation we are going to click on the list and in the list i will give the source right now this video is not actually about the data validation how to use the drop down 
is uh, you must be knowing this if, if you if you are uh, you know somebody who knows the basics of the excel then this is a feature which everybody should know that right from here we can create the drop downs so i just click here now what will happen you get to see here on the list right now uh, other, you, know, uh, you can actually do some good font this video is not certainly you know about uh, uh, telling you the tips you know that how you can uh, give it a good uh, presentation in terms of the you know the dashboard i mean the choosing the color and all that stuff but still i'm going to tell you that you know this is how all you, know, you can i mean kind of decorate your this dashboard you can some insert the you know the shapes as well just in case if you're looking or these different different kind of you know shapes you can also do that but I'm just going to you know mainly focus on the offset function now guys what we need to do is I'm going to create here a list of all these associates you know that in the drop down whatever I'm going to select you know this is that this list should come here so if I have selected the up tool then what should happen I should be able to get all the associates and if I'm going to select something else maybe mat from this drop down then my user should be able to see the mat automatically without any programming yes you heard me right guys I'm not going to actually make any program for this this is simply going to be the offset function right so offset is again one of my favorite function i use it a lot in the vp and also in the dashboard now what you can do is um if you have watched the previous video then all i need is basically i need to actually see that from where the mat is coming if, if the mat the drop down says mat then i want my cursor to be here for this particular cell and then for this particular cell i want my cell you know i want my reference to be from here and so on you know if somebody is going to select something else maybe what should happen in this set you know my reference actually should come from here is XYZ and then the reference on this cell should come from you know BC so this is what we need to do right so what we will do in this example is basically I'm going to actually find the position of this person right example i will do one thing i will write here offset now you got to start your reference so i'm going to start my reference from the c5 and then from the c5 if i have to go to the xyz okay uh, because right now i am going to focus on the abdul team so what i will do you know that from the offset if i just want to go to the xyz then how many rows actually i'm moving I'm moving only one row because this offset starts with the zero then how many columns i'm going to actually move is left to right it is a positive direction so you will write here one and that's it you press one enter and you will have your answer similarly when you drag this formula down what will happen basically you will again say that i want to actually move myself again from here and this time i will move actually two rows and then on you know, the one column so when you press enter you will be on the abc this is something we want to automate it if you see in both the formulas the row number is incrementing but the column is not changing Right. So maybe you can write here, first of all, one, two, three, four, five, six. You can create a series, track this, and this popper would come and click on the fill series. You will have all the one, two, three, four, five, the row numbers. Now, what you need to do is simply this row parameter refer it with this cell, which is M3. Right. Now, what will happen uh, before you actually drag it down, please freeze your this C5 so that the c5 should not go now when you're going to drag this down this is how the formula would look like you know, your summary would look like now what happened why if you're wondering that how we got the abc if i just press f to look at this you are saying that on this from this cell which is c5 please move two rows down is this rows and this on the column number one right so what it does it removes you know uh, column of rows which is 0 1 and 2 it comes here and then the next parameter which is a column goes here 0 and 1 so, and that's how you getting you know abc and then d d d and then you know, these names one by one the point is um, if, if you change this to ajay then the numbers are not changing the values are not changing because of the reason it's no doubt you have this destination point let me give it a color from here now you will have to actually not go to the Column number one but you will have to go to the column number two and in your this example you have given the column number one if i just change this to two, if i just delete it and write here two you see that i got the this associate name which is a right and the same thing i will have to just need to track this formula down. 
time and you will have your answer but the point is you, unless you are going to make this automate going to automate this column number there will be no help you know this will not actually work on the auto mode so the point is if i have a reference here you can see this reference will be c5 and i'm not going to change it i have frozen it for abdul this is going to be the column number one and this is two and this is three and this is four so it's a function which we know is the match function you can use the match function here maybe just to give you the understanding i can use the match function here now if you do not have any idea about the match function please go ahead and check the excel vlookup and match you know, the playlist there you need to watch the video the basics of the match function you will understand match basically returns the position in a you know table position of a lookup value what you actually want to find it out in this case i will simply select this lookup value as k2 i will say that look up this ajay in this table i'm gonna you know, select the table and i'm going to write here zero which is for the exact match as you can see here exact match right so this is how you will get the your column number and the same thing you will have to supply here so if i just remove the backspace and just enter here and before i drag it down i want to freeze this l1 because l1 should not change l1 would remain same for this entire you know for this actually the team manager ajay because everything from if you measure it from this c5 every item a b c d e f g you know, is on the column number two it's only the row numbers which are getting incremented so so when i drag this formula down you see that i get to see here all the values which who actually the associates belongs to ajay the point is if you change this mat if you change this to mat will you get the answer you can see here that guys i have got the answer perfect right what happened so basically if you look at the formula if you just want to do the post-mortem of this formula you're starting from here which is c5 and if you're starting from c5 you got to go to do this you know you got to go to this y3 so you're saying that please go to the row number one which is this it comes here this cell and then match function returns the column number of that which is three so that's what we are doing seeing that move come here and then from here three columns which is one two and three so guys this is how you can use the offset function now if you select anything here maybe if you select the venkit see that you will have the venkit values if you select abdul bag you will have the abdul name so this is really a very powerful function and what you can do you can just, you know you can give it a white font so that user should not be able to see or maybe you can hide two and you can hide this column as well or maybe you can give it a white font that's all up to you so in this way you can actually create the series and of course you can for the zero values you can also do one thing you can write here that if the output of this function is going to be zero then just give me the space i don't want to see anything otherwise if it is not actually you know a zero the output is not zero then i just want value back that's it now when you will drag this down look at this you won't see any zeros here so this way you can create the offset function so offset is very useful you must know this function if you want to be an expert in excel and if you if you have any you know if you're working in the m and the mis field if you have some excel dashboards available with you just go and check you will find these formulas you know they are very actually common formulas they are very much used in the advanced excel they are very much used in the dashboard not in the advanced excel but what i wanted to say in the summary report and in the dashboard you will find you know people often actually use these functions so that's that's the example on the offset function and i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions on that and guys please do subscribe to the channel in order to support me i will be back with some another exciting stuff very soon thank you so much for watching